Hey there, plant lover. Welcome back to our channel. Ever wondered how plants protect themselves and communicate with the world? Or how do they breathe? The answers might surprise you. We'll reveal them in just a bit, so stay tuned. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of dermal tissue in plants, and trust me, you're in for a blooming good time. So, are you ready to uncover the secrets of these green wonders? Let's jump in. First, let's peel back the layers and talk about the structure of dermal tissue. Did you know that the epidermal cells are like the skin of the plant? They're flat and elongated, forming a continuous layer that wraps around the plant like a protective hug. And speaking of protection, here's a fun fact. That shiny layer on the surface, the cuticle, is like a plant's sunscreen. It's made of waxy substances and helps keep the plant hydrated and safe from scorching sun and harmful microbes. Now, let's unlock the secrets of dermal tissue's functions. Ever wondered how plants breathe? Well, they do it through these tiny, mysterious openings called stomata. But here's a question for you. How do plants decide when to open and close these stomata to balance photosynthesis and prevent water loss? Share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's talk about water management. Can you guess how much water a plant can lose in a single day through transpiration? It's a staggering amount, and I'm about to reveal the answer. On a scorching hot day, a single plant can lose hundreds of liters of water through transpiration. But wait, there's more. Dermal tissue comes with some remarkable specialized structures. Ever heard of plant hairs? These are trichomes. They come in various shapes and sizes, and they're like the plant's fashion statement. But did you know they can also serve as defense mechanisms? Some even secrete sticky substances to trap unsuspecting prey. But let's not forget about the roots. Root hairs are like the plant's very own water-absorbing tentacles. Here's a challenge. Can you guess how much the surface area of a plant's roots increases with the help of these root hairs? The answer might surprise you. The surface area of a plant's roots can increase by hundreds or even thousands of times, thanks to these tiny root hairs. And in the world of woody plants, cork cells are like nature's armor. They replace the epidermis as the plant grows, ensuring it stays protected and insulated. It's like a superhero costume change. Plants are the ultimate survivors, adapting to their environments in remarkable ways. Check this out. Desert plants have evolved thick cuticles and unique adaptations to thrive in scorching deserts. But here's the burning question. How do they conserve water in such harsh conditions? The answer is in their remarkable ability to limit water loss. Their thick cuticles act like a barrier, reducing water evaporation from their leaves. Additionally, many desert plants open their stomata at night when it's cooler, reducing water loss during the hottest part of the day. Some even have specialized water storage tissues, like succulent stems and leaves, to store water for times of drought. These adaptations are like nature's own desert survival kit, allowing these plants to thrive where few others can. Now, let's dive into the world of aquatic plants. They're like the aqua men of the plant world. But here's a puzzler. How do they manage to exchange gases and thrive underwater without drowning? The secret lies in specialized structures called aerenchyma and lenticels. These structures create air channels that allow oxygen to reach submerged roots and other parts of the plant, ensuring they stay afloat and healthy. 
And then there are the plant predators. Carnivorous plants have some of the coolest adaptations. But can you guess how they lure, catch, and devour their unsuspecting prey? It's a real-life plant mystery. Share your thoughts comment below. So, there you have it. Dermal tissue in plants. A world filled with intriguing mysteries and fascinating adaptations. As we wrap up this leafy journey, I challenge you to explore your garden and see if you can spot some of these amazing features we've discussed today. If you enjoyed uncovering the secrets of plant biology with us, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting plant adventures. Thanks for joining us, and we'll leave you with more plant-tastic content in the next video.